I'm Jim Skelly, and um, I wanted to say a few things tonight because I've just gotten an urgent message from one of our students about an ecological crisis that could be quite significant. Um, the reason this course, one of the reasons this course is called The Global Conversation is that we are trying to create a global conversation about our situation here on the planet and to find ways to be solidaric with each other when, in fact, local areas are threatened. Now, Jose Roberto Viveros Castillo is one of the teaching assistants in this course. He's been with us now for over a year. He's another one we can't get rid of, thankfully. Uh, and Roberto, for short, is uh, <clears throat> sent me an urgent message today about... Um, a big mining project in Veracruz that is going to be um, uh, very close to the Laguna Verde nuclear power plant, which has had problem after problem. And what environmentally concerned people are concerned with, in this case, is that the mining activity is going to destabilize the nuclear power plant. Um, <clears throat> This may be one of those times when, in modest ways, you can act. Um, the, um, it's a Canadian gold mining company uh, that's going to uh, try to start excavating for gold about three kilometers from the plant. <clears throat> uh, the plans are for the mine to stretch over 50,000 acres and produce um, about... A 100,000 ounces or 2.8 million grams of gold per year. Um, it's, you know, lots of people in Mexico are very, very concerned. Um, it's called the White Horse Open Mine Project. Uh, Greenpeace Mexico says we're very worried about this project, which threatens national security by being situated only three kilometers from the Laguna Verde nuclear power plant. It could increase the risk of a nuclear accident. Now, <clears throat> the Gold Group is a Canadian group, and I'm going to post for you. I'm going to post this in one of the course discussion forum. Um, we'll put this up. <clears throat> you can contact them. You can ask them what they're up to. Are they concerned about the environmental uh, issues at Laguna Verde? They have a wonderful video, I have to tell you. It makes it sound like it's going to be the most environmentally sensitive project you've ever seen. Roberto thinks that it could be ecocide, hmm? a violation of peace, really, by, by destroying not only those communities around Laguna Verde, um, but also contributing to um, the general deterioration in the environmental climate. Now, um, I'm going to send you a bunch of different uh, notices about this. But don't hesitate to write the Gold Group. Contact Greenpeace. Um, become, become active around this. I'm going to send you um, some background information as well on the Laguna Verde plant. There are lots and lots of uh, problems with it, apparently, that have been caught over the years. Um, it is not the best regulated plant. And as you may know, if you have studied anything about uh, nuclear power plants, we saw it with Fukushima, but even more so uh, with Chernobyl, uh, the radiation spreads. You too may be subject to it. So whether you're in Mexico or the United States or even in Europe, let's try to have some solidarity with Roberto and his colleagues in Veracruz, okay? This is important. So I'll send you information. Um, both by email and posted on one of the course fora, and you can take a look at it and decide what to do. But it's pretty easy to just, if you're Canadian, you could ring up the company and say, what are you guys up to anyhow? Tell us some things about this. I see this, I mean, you look at the fancy video, you'll think, oh, everything's wonderful. Just like they always do. Hmm? The 1%, I think they're called. At any rate, Take a look at this and uh, see if you aren't moved to act 
in solidarity with Roberto and others in Veracruz. Okay? And we'll try and keep updated on this and post new things on the course form. See you soon.